Hey everyone, I wanted to make a video on my runes of masteries and things I've built recently since a lot of people have been asking. I also want to talk about the whole Rageblade vs Trinity thing. So to begin with, my masteries are 18012. I have them in front of you. If you want to copy them, go for it. The only thing I might change is uh, double-edged sword. You can skip feast and get double-edged sword if you wish. The reason why I don't go 18, 12, and 0 is because by going 18, 0, 12, I get reduced cooldowns on summoner spells, so shorter cooldown on flash, shorter cooldown on your teleport, increased healing, you're slightly tankier in lane, which is pretty helpful. Whereas if you go 8, 18, 12, and 0, you might have some extra damage or mana region, and that's about it. You get a lot better values by going 18, 0, 12, at least in my opinion. My runes are 29% attack speed. Scaling armor, scaling MI. Uh, this is because they nerfed the attack speed on Trinity, and this kind of kind of makes up. Um, it's also very nice in lane, because once you get lo uh, level four and put two points in your W, uh, you will have insane trading potential because of how much attack speed you have, which obviously allows you to do a shit ton of damage with your W on against any lane. I use this against everything. Ignore my other pages. This is all I use at least recently. And now on the, the old uh, Trinity and Rageblade topic, I build both of them if I ever build Rageblade, so I always get both of them, no matter what, if I build Rageblade first. I rush Rageblade versus harder lanes, or lanes that are armor stackers, but even then I still consider rushing Trinity and getting tanky as soon as possible, because if their team has a lot of burst damage or a lot of CC and lockdown, I almost always rush Trinity like regardless of who I'm laning against because if I especially if I plan to join team fights and roam around if I have a Ginsu's I'll just get pop like instantly whereas if I rush Trinity I can get tanky as soon as possible and snowball the game and help my team instead of having to split push and relying on absolutely crushing lane in order to have influence so if I rush Trinity I always get tanky after if I rush Rageblade I always get Trinity right after and then I get tanky um, but I rarely rush Rageblade now because I almost always feel like I have to roam or teamfight and so I build Trinity to get tanky, regardless of lane. But if you feel like you need to win your lane, such as against Malphite or Nasus, then rushing Rageblade makes those lanes a lot easier. You can still beat them with Trinity, but Rageblade makes it much much easier. Or if you're against a hard duelist like Jax or Fiora, then Rageblade might be better because you're going to have to stop them from split pushing. So in that case, maybe rushing Rageblade would be better and then getting Trinity and getting tanky after. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say for today, and I hope all of you guys are doing great, and I'll see you in the next video. And if you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comments. I'll be reading all of them.